Wow. Oh, wow. Dog food. Oh, wow. This is bizarre. What a breath of fresh air. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this <is> healthy. <laughs> Wait a minute. You found him on the street? So, um, female and a male, right? Yeah. Now, how long have you had them? About four years. Four years. I now. raised a female up from a juvenile. I mean, she was small when I got her. Oh, wow. Dude, that's perfect. And she just laid uh, three eggs a couple weeks ago. Three in one shot? Yeah. She broke one, but the other two are incubated. That's huge, too, because they usually only lay, like, one that's egg at a time. I never knew they were going to lay three. Wow. My other ones have only ever laid one. Holy cow, man. Well, that's awesome. They really look great. Um, anything specific with diet? Romaine. They don't touch Missouri or any of that really? stuff. Really? They uh -huh. won't touch it. I don't know why. I've tried to mix it in and blend it up. Yeah. Okay. They don't want anything to do with it. All right. Fair enough. You miss them, they jump on top of each other and start breathing. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, they're beautiful. Thanks, man. No problem. Awesome. All right, we've got quite the day planned, guys. We're gonna be driving all over the place to pick up tortoises that need new homes. And we just started with these amazingly beautiful pancake tortoises. Unfortunately, sometimes things go wrong in life and people have to find homes for these long-lived reptiles. But that's what we're here to do today. This is our first stop. Let's get back on the road. Okay, stop number two. Let's see what we got. So you raised him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he used to be this big. Do you realize how good of a job you did? Oh, thank you. I'm serious. <laughs> okay. oh, good. This thank tortoise, it, it, the shell's perfect. Is it it's in pyramid, right? Nope. And, okay. and it seems like I've been concerned when it's like that, and then it goes like, in, I mean like. No, that's like that's perfectly deeper. normal. And you know what? I'm going to show you why. Right here is where you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Because he's a male. What happens is the males get pinched in right here, and this is called the supercaudal shield and it actually comes out like that because it's meant to protect his tail. His tail has gotten so much bigger. Yeah, what well you did, I can't believe how good of a job you did. Thank you. <laughs> this tortoise is perfect. Good. Literally oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we did a lot of researching um, and we did our best to take care of him. Yeah, so. it's fantastic. And his shell's in there, that's his favorite shell. Okay. It's kind of his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he okay. loves sandy line, or right? That's his favorite that he likes to yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. And he loves the um, pellets. Yeah. Uh, the Missouri? Uh, snack. And then we put a vitamins I put in here. And if okay. you guys need any of the lights and the heaters, they're all yours. Okay, yeah, if you don't, don't need mind them, the stickers. Sure. <laughs> no, I love it. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Well, and, and uh, what's his name again? Sheldon. Sheldon. Sheldon, the Eastern Herman's tortoise. <laughs> awesome job. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Bye -bye. Thank you. Yeah, it makes my heart happy. <laughs> and his shell looks so pretty when you put water on oh, it. Oh, and that's the best, because right? Yeah. She used to soak on yeah. like, yeah, we used to I soak love, you know, in the day. summer when it rains yeah. and then you can see them all walking around. They look like little bumblebees. Yeah. I, I love yeah, yeah, Big yeah. bumblebees, yeah. rather. Yeah. Um, you're feeding all of them and they all come up mm -hmm. and then they're attacking your foot. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll go after your feet. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. What a breath of fresh air. That little girl knocked it out of the park. That Herman's tortoise is in pristine, perfect condition. Uh, no headaches for us whatsoever. But now we're off to stop number three. Yeah, we've had her for seven years. Okay. She's, um, she's so sweet. Like she interacts with all of us. Yeah, they have such good personality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <They're> healthy. <laughs> she eats a lot of different lettuces. Okay. Mostly lo mein, but I have a lot of different things I give her. Okay. She eats carrots. Okay. She eats um, strawberries. She loves. So I'm trying to keep them And um, I, I, I know you just said it, but I can't remember. How long have you had her? About seven years. Seven years. Then. Yeah. Okay. Raised from a baby? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, outdoors in the summer at all, or, or no. just indoors? Okay. Sometimes we take her out, but it was rarely. Okay. You know, I just didn't know what she was supposed to eat or not eat. Yeah. We're in the townhouse, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
people have animals next to them. I didn't trust that. I got you. But it's she's so big now. I used to be able to pick her up with one yeah. hand, and now she's gonna get bigger hands. too. So yeah. my son, we were all really upset. I said we don't have the we don't have the way to keep her. I mean, she's alone, so she's gonna be with other tortoises. So. Yeah, she will. She'll be in our redfoot group. Well, you'll definitely see her on our channel. Oh, yeah. really going. <laughs> yeah. You know what happens when they drive in the car? The bumps from the... It helps you. Yeah, it yeah. moves yeah. things along. It does. Actually, you know, veterinarians will say, you know, some people get a concern that their tortoise ingested something like a rock because they actually naturally will eat rocks. And um, if the animal hasn't gone to the bathroom and the owner starts freaking out, a lot of times they'll tell you to put the tortoise in something and drive around for a oh, while with funny. it. And it makes them go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, of course, you. of course. Thank you. Thank you for reaching out. Yeah. yeah. Another healthy tortoise ready to head back to GST with us, but we are not done yet. We still have another animal to pick up. Hi. Good to see you. So, I might cry though, because it's... Oh, that's all right. That's, that's totally fine. Yeah, her dad's been having this for a long time. How, yeah. how many years? 15. Wow. 15 I had put, I had thrown this together because yeah. we took him temporarily. Right. So he's not in there. Okay. I brought it in case you wanted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to see if I can fit that because that is really cool. You have to put your seats there. I, how, long, how long did he have him for? I mean, between like 15 and 17 years. 15. I raised from a baby? No. He was exactly all the Found him on the okay. street. Exactly the same size. Oh, yeah. Wait it. a minute. He found him on the street? He so he a residential area. And he was literally just walking down the street. This is bizarre because... Um, we had a male marginated tortoise that looked similar to him, bigger, uh, for, for years. He was found something like 45 years ago walking down the street in San Diego. So I don't know what it is about male marginated well, tortoises. And, artist, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, let's get this in first. And what's the tortoise's name? Lucky. Lucky. And my dad called him Lucky was lucky to be saved. Lucky to be found, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Love so it. So he, uh, um, what was I going to ask? I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah, I was going to say, just leave it like that. So not take anything else. Um, he was always the same size. He said he was exactly the same Man, size. Man, that is, that is the same exact story as our old marginated, uh, just found in different places. Yeah. His favorite foods are my his main diet was blueberries, grapes, and dog food. Dog food. I, dog food. I didn't bring the dog. Food. I, I didn't cat bring food. the cat food or dog food, okay. but I did. He, for me, he would only eat grapes and blueberries. I tried to feed him other stuff. Okay. Um, there is some pellets and okay. weeds mixed. I bought the grass farm. This is also leftover bedding and such. Okay. This is the dish that my dad. Um, when I, I kept it out of his cage for a week, and he didn't come out of his house. This is what he likes as a hide of these okay. cops. Okay. As soon as I put it in his cage, he came running out. Jumped Aww. in it, splashed in it. Oh, wow. So okay. I, I used both of them as water dishes. Okay. I put his food on paper plates. That's Perfect. what he's comfortable with. Okay. I also brought some live plants. I discovered that he likes spider plants and jade plants. Yeah. Oh, wow. He ate them, so I brought some. If you're interested, you can have Sure. <laughs> Here we, here's the superstar. Here he is. Here he is. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> he, sat, he sat on my lap the whole way there here. He? Yeah. Oh, wow. He's heavy. He is heavy. Buddy. And he's so Buddy. sweet. Yeah. Very friendly. Wow. He looks I don't great. Know if he's a girl or a boy. It's a boy. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, if it was a if it was a girl, the tail would be like that big. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, buddy. You can tell how old because of the thickness of the carapace. Yeah. Too. Yeah. You see how thick and dense that is? He's up there in age for sure. Well, we figured if he was this, my dad said he was this size when he found it. I said fifty or sixty. Nobody yeah. believes me. What was what was written right here? He wrote his phone number. Oh, you wrote his phone number? Mm -hmm. Because oh, he wow. he escaped, he got out of the yard. And, I, walking I, down the street. 
that's similar to the personality of the one we used to have. He, our, our other one was so bold. We had a, a, a 96 pound American Bulldog and uh, this tortoise would chase him out of the pen, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, it, was, it was amazing. That's so, sweetheart. Pretty cool. I love him. He's got that same kind of shell, you yeah. know. You're a good baby. So you just started giving him those canary bones. Okay, cool. That's great. Very sweet. We've only had a few weeks or a couple weeks since, you yeah. know. Kind of took him out of the house because it was just too much stress for them. Well, it was okay. great to meet both of you. Yeah, Thanks well. for the enclosure. Yeah. yeah. Really, Thank really you. awesome. That was cool. All right. We've got tortoises. We've got plants. We've got food dishes. We've got lights. We've got a giant enclosure. The car is packed, so we need to get all of this home and uh, get started to acclimating our new friends. What a day. We're back with several animals and I gotta get right to getting them set up. The pancake tortoises are luckily gonna go into this big, massive, custom-built toad ranch enclosure because lucky for us, we have all these wonderful enclosures for them. This one happens to be open and because it's important for new animals like this to be quarantined, we are absolutely not going to take these and put them in with our existing pancake tortoise group. They need their own home for now so that we can watch them over the course of a half of a year or better. So here we go. Let's get them in. There's the beautiful male. Here's the beautiful female. And they've got so many different places to hide and jam themselves into rock crevices. We've said it many, many times in videos on this channel when we highlight this incredible African species that they are flat for a couple different reasons. It enables them to fit into tight crevices and because their shell is pliable, they can also expand the body by expanding the lungs. They inflate the lungs, the body expands, and then they can jam themselves into those tight crevices so that something can't pull them out. You'll also notice that there's a lot of higher areas and that's because this species naturally climbs. Can they topple over? Of course, but because they're an agile species, they often have no problem whoop, flipping themselves right back over. So there they are, the brand new pair of pancake tortoises here at Garden State Tortoise, but we've got a couple more gems that we need to take a closer look at. All right, and let's see. Okay, this is Lucky. This is the male marginated tortoise. He is so cool. He's got interesting shape to him. He's a little bit small for a male marginated too. Most male marginated tortoises get to be between 12 and 14 inches. They are the largest member of the European tortoises, the Testudo family. Let's see how you walk, Lucky. What's up, pal? Marginated tortoises are so cool. As they age, the shell turns jet black and then they just get like a cream or yellow center per scoot on the carapace. You can see why they call them marginated. So they get that big, beautiful bell shape or skirt at the back end. But a lot of Greek tortoises and even male Hermans tortoises can be just as or close to as trapezoidal as they can be. So often people get very confused when they're properly trying to identify whether or not they have a marginated tortoise. You are really sweet, buddy. But I'll show you one telltale way you can know for sure that it's a marginated and not a Greek or Herman's tortoise. And that's by looking at these here. These triangular markings, now his are a little bit faded because he's older, are called chevrons. And they're just black triangular markings that go in two rows on the plastron. Very distinct markings, again, easier to see in a younger animal. Whereas the Hermans and Greek tortoises have black blotching or striping on the plaster. They don't have those distinct triangular markings. You are in fact a marginated tortoise. It is so cool to see a marginated tortoise again. We obviously keep these guys here, but ours are in hibernation. But that's okay because it gives Lucky a chance to get nice and acclimated and going through some quarantining before he ends up joining the group of marginated tortoises here. What do you see? Checking out my tattoos. He's very curious. <laughs> All right, Lucky can walk around for a minute while we check out the other two here. Okay. 
Next up is Sheldon, the male Eastern Hermans tortoise. I am just in shock at how well she raised this animal. I mean, you just, so many people, you know, don't get it right or they get it right after, you know, there's been some deformity or at least lumpiness and pyramiding to the shell. This little girl nailed it from the get-go and we've got a tortoise here that has a wild type shell. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. He is so strong, he is so healthy and he's gonna be a wonderful addition to the Eastern Hermans group. You know, she'll be hanging, he'll be hanging out with Athena, our big ancient Eastern Hermans, and all the other ones that are part of that colony we have. I don't expect to have any problems with this guy whatsoever, and he's awesome and he is strong. Look at that, look at how cool. All right, and then we also have this pretty little one right here. So, We've got a little bit of pyramiding going on here with this red foot tortoise, which, you know, nothing serious. We, we, we've seen way worse. We've taken in way worse. You guys know that. Um, you know, lack of the appropriate humidity is usually what causes it in red foot tortoises. Remember, red foot tortoises are supposed to be eating protein. They're supposed to be getting animal matter. So uh, too much protein is not what would, what would cause pyramiding of the carapace scoots. We now know that it's pretty much directly linked to lack of sufficient humidity and hydration. That's what causes the keratin to raise, but we're really not dealing with anything bad here. This animal really looks pretty good. It is very strong, and it is also, like I said with the other tortoises, it is gonna join the colony of its species that we have here. So this animal will be going to live with our northern redfoot tortoise group once she goes through uh, proper quarantine and we know everything is good with her, but look at that, she's holding on to my hand. She's so, unbelievably strong really really great animal and uh, you can see she's got the personality already our red foot tortoises are over the top personable you guys have seen them in plenty of videos so she'll make a wonderful addition to that group she's got a lot of growing to do though she's nowhere near done she could get upwards of 14 inches as well just like the marginated tortoises can red foot tortoises are not small animals by any means but they are in fact very hardy when you take care of them properly so speaking of rescues, here are two right here. Dixie and Morby are our sulcata tortoises. So these aren't tortoises that were intentionally meant to come here as far as Casey and I go. But over the last decade or so, we've really transitioned into kind of becoming an accidental sanctuary for these rescued reptiles. Um, tortoises and turtles have found their way to us and we've just always had open arms towards it and we've really become passionate about it and, and we enjoy every minute of it. Sometimes it's not always a happy situation, but lately we've really been lucking out with animals that are healthy and I think that's uh, partly or mostly attributed to now there is so much good information that's being released out onto the internet in the form of literature and even of course videos like this to where people are getting a better head start with their animals from day one. So when that time comes where they may not be able to keep it anymore, more. The animal is in really good shape and, and it makes life a lot easier for us here um, as a rescue sanctuary. We started off as a breeding operation and we still do breed many species here that are in dire need of that. That's still extremely important, but we really, really are enjoying this. Um, there's just something so special about an animal that has a story already and being able to help continue that, that animal's story and legacy. So um, luckily enough, we have the indoor and outdoor space to keep doing this. We're always evolving, we're always willing to do more for the animals, we continue to build things and to improve habitats, and we're excited for the future. This is what we love to do.